Hey what's going on guys welcome back to another video in this video I will be explaining how to fix the error page that you get with kernel sometimes where it says that an error has occurred please close Roblox. Now I do want to quickly mention that kernel only works on Windows 10 and 11 as of right now so if you are on Mac or any other version of Windows it will not work for you. So make sure you watch the full video so you're able to follow all the instructions so you know that you've done everything correctly. So the very first thing you want to do is of course go ahead and go into the video description and you will see a link to a download now when you do open up the link it might look something like this uh, if you do see this little prompt right here you just want to quickly uh, quickly take that and you should see a page similar to this over here just go ahead and click on free access and it will go ahead and open up the mediafire download link like this uh, and then over here you just want to click on download and download this folder over on your desktop um, and there we go so let's go back on our desktop so I've got I've got two copies over here so I'll just go ahead and delete the old one and I'll use the one that I've just downloaded you will also need WinRAR or any other program that can extract files uh, it is a completely free program I will link it in the description if you don't already have it um, so once you do have Vinro installed, you should see an icon for this that looks similar to this. It's just like a bookshelf. Um, so over here, you just want to go ahead and right click it and click on extract to and it says the version folder or the actual name of the folder. So you just want to go ahead and click on that and then you can simply delete this. You don't really need that. You just need this extracted folder right here. So you just want to go ahead and open that up and you will see two files over here. So this is the actual application that you need. So this is the one that you can actually inject the kernel executor into. So basically you get this error because the version of Roblox that you are currently using has more security against executors. Um, therefore, it doesn't allow you, allow you to actually use the executor. So once you do have this folder installed, you just want to come down over here or you can just simply click on the Windows key and press the letter R and you should see something like this. If you don't know how to do that, just come over here and type in run. Uh, and then go ahead and click that over here you just want to type the percent symbol and then type in local app data and then percent symbol again uh, i will also leave this in the actual description so you can just copy it from there then simply go ahead and click on ok you should see something that looks like this the folder names of course might be a little different um, and, but you all you're doing is just look for the folder called roblox so once you do find roblox just go ahead and open that up and then go ahead and go into the versions folder now my versions folders they look a little different from you um, so if you've got any folder named fb or starting with fb79 or just basically fb um, if you do have any of those folders that's basically why you're having that issue with kernel i don't actually have that so i've got no issues using kernel um, but what you want to do over here once you are inside the versions folder um, is look for a folder that says version dash fb so anything that looks like that just go ahead and open it of course this is different um, but i'm just doing it for the purpose of the video and then all you want to do is go ahead and open this other folder up that you've downloaded and drag this file into here and then go ahead and replace it so that will go ahead and delete this what you could also do is just delete this by right clicking it and click delete and then just dragging this over on this side so once you do do that that will go ahead and fix the issue and you don't have to worry about any sort of error pages again you can simply go ahead and open up kernel or any other type of executor that you are using and you can inject it and execute the script like normal um, hopefully this video did help now if you do have any questions um, simply leave a comment down below if this video did help you make sure to drop a like and subscribe and as always thanks for watching